Hi. Welcome to this video where we're going to discuss uh, delta voltages. So I'm talking about a delta source and then of course those would lead to my delta load. So what I mean by delta, right, we're talking about the Greek symbol delta or the triangle. Um, we take three of our windings, right, from a three phase transformer or from three single phase transformers and we connect them up into that delta shape like this, right, which puts them 120 electrical degrees apart. And we connect them like this. So we have three windings, A phase, B phase, and C phase. What we kind of do is we connect, you know, big A to little C on the A, uh, big B to little A down here, and then little B to big C there, right? So we end up connecting them into that triangle or that delta formation, right? So what that looks like is, you know, if we're doing that down here, um, we go A and do, 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 C like that. And of course, connecting this together, so we're going around the outside like that. What that gives us, you know, then we take our three line conductors over A, B, and C which is exactly what we have from here. C, right, over here we connect up B and A. So just like that, that's how we get that delta configuration. So now what I wanna talk about specifically is the voltages that I would read. Now, uh, we're not gonna deal with an actual number here but we're gonna talk about what we would see. So I'm gonna do a, a phasor diagram for these. Now, uh, in order to do this, right, I'm gonna read three separate voltages. These would be my line voltages, right? First off, I would read V, A to B, right? Keep in mind, voltmeter's got two leads. I'm reading from line A to line B. There's V, A to B, perfect. Then we would read V, B to C. Again, two leads from B to C. And then the last one would be from C to A. Right, so the last one we call V, C to A. Right. Now those would be my line voltages because I'm measuring on the line conductors. A really cool thing or an interesting thing with delta is whether I'm measuring, you know, out here, B to C, or whether I'm measuring here, B to C at the phase, my line voltages equal my phase voltages. So that's a big thing in delta, in delta, uh, V line equals V phase. Because they are the same point electrically, whether I'm measuring out here on the line, or in here at the phase, they're the exact same. So where that goes onto my phasor diagram is I'll have V A to B at zero degrees, 120 degrees lagging behind is V B to C, and then 120 degrees behind that is V C to A. So that's my three uh, phasors that I get from this, right? If I was to hook it up to an oscilloscope or to a phasor diagram meter, whatever those are. Okay, awesome, perfect. That's all we need to know really about voltages in a delta. So, but the last thing I wanna talk about is something called an open corner test. So an open corner test, open corner test. Now an open corner test is something you do when I hook up this transformer and I'm about to bolt these two together, right? And you can do it on any corner, but let's say I'm about to bolt those two together, right? It's not energized, of course, but I wanna bolt them together and then I wanna energize it. Well, because I'm connecting those two points together, I've already connected big A, little c, big B, little a, I'm about to connect those together because when I connect it and energize it, I don't want there to be a potential difference between these two points or else that would be, you know, a short circuit. So what I do is I take my voltmeter, right? I'm reading from there 
to there, which I know is kind of tough to see. This is called that open corner test. So before I make that connection, I energize it. Now, what you're actually reading is V or C to A, right? So V C to A plus, right? Uh, a to B, V A to B plus B to little b, which would be C, right? Plus B, B to C. Now, if you have those all configured correctly and connected correctly, right, before I make this connection down here, this blue line, you should equal zero volts. And that is because all of these are 120 degrees separated. So when I take C to A, right, I add A to B to it, and then I add B to C to it, I should end up right back at that origin or right back at zero. So I should equal that out. And you can do all that in an HV chart, right? Which would look something like this, right? I add up all those, right? 120 at, or whatever my voltage is at 120 degrees, plus my voltage at zero, plus my voltage at uh, 240. In this case, I used 600 volts. And again, that at the bottom equals zero volts. So now I know that I've connected up this transformer correctly, so we can get rid of that, and we can put in this connection, and I can energize my three-phase system. Uh, so I hope that helped. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the description below for tons of other, or a bunch of other Delta videos. And uh, again, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.